Jim Harbaugh is bringing more coaches from Michigan. Yesterday, it was reported that Jesse Minter is officially the defensive coordinator for Jim Harbaugh, but not only Jesse Minter is coming from Michigan, we're also bringing Mike Elston, the defensive line coach and recruiting coordinator, Dylan Roney, who was a graduate assistant and also worked very closely with those edge rushers, and possibly even Steve Klinkscale, who was the co-defensive coordinator and the defensive backs coach. So basically that entire Michigan defensive staff is going to follow Jim Harbaugh to the Chargers. And this is a great thing and it makes it so much easier for us to envision what this Chargers defense is going to look like because a lot of that Michigan staff and what they would run, that scheme, is going to be coming over to the Chargers. And we're going to be seeing a lot more aggressiveness on defense, man. Jesse Minter, he is not afraid to blitz and frequently has five-man fronts and nickel blitzes that put the offensive line in so much conflict causes so much confusion and you know what it would be easier for me to show you rather than just sit here and talk about it so make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this content bro it helps me out so much and now let's get into the film room. Now, the first play that I want to show you is a Jesse Minter classic. We're going to have five players on the line of scrimmage, and we're going to have our linebacker right here who is on the line of scrimmage. He's going to drop back into coverage, and the off ball linebacker is going to come on this blitz. And the reason they're doing this is because we have one, two, three defensive linemen that are coming, and they're showing that they're coming, and they're going to have two guys slant towards the middle, and our edge player take on that tackle one on one in a very wide stance to take him away creates this gap right here between the tackle and the guard for our off ball linebacker to shoot right through that creates an easy pass rushing lane and look at how this works because the edge player is going to drop back into coverage to take up this zone which is the space that this man is vacating in order to take up the space that the blitzing linebacker is taking up so there's really no zone that's going unaccounted for right here there's nowhere to throw this ball and we have a free pass rusher coming in on a four-man rush. That is all this is. All of this action is just a four-man rush. We're going to see Chris Jenkins slant towards the inside, same as uh, Mason Graham. And then there he is. There's that free open gap. Now, Ohio State was running this zone run scheme a lot with the tight end on the strong side. And then we bring him round back to get that crackback block on the weak side linebacker. But what's happening here is because this receiver is in motion going towards this side of the field, Mike Sandristel comes down to play on the line of scrimmage. And now Junior Colson is the off ball linebacker. They're both coming on the blitz here. And since Mike Sandristel came down and he is on the line, the tight end can only pick up one of these two guys that's coming coming and junior colson gets a free lane to get to that running back on the weak side ohio state was really trying to attack the flats in this game and typically the man who was picking up the flat would be this defender right here but right before this play begins you see he's vacating this area and the deep safety comes up so they're basically switching responsibilities here but you can see this quarterback notices that he's going to be wide open in the flat because there's nobody who's going to come down mike sandristel who typically would be playing this deep zone, his responsibility is the flat if anyone comes and he gives it, uh, gives this receiver back to this safety who you can see was playing up towards the middle of the field. So this is very well disguised because he's actually the deep safety. San Ristol passes him off, looks upfield, and then comes down with the heat. Boom! in that flat man you love to see that and then you love to see this freaking tenacity by the michigan defense man they all play with this ferocity i love it now this is that same kind of blitz that i showed you in the very first play of the game we have five men on the line of scrimmage we're gonna drop back this edge player drop back the linebacker who was on the line we're gonna bring the other linebacker who was off the ball but this time we're also bringing the nickel cornerback and look at the mismatch right here the guard does a nice job of finding the nickel cornerback but the linebacker comes in hard gets picked up by the running back so this is actually really well blocked but look how nobody is open down the field because it's a five-man rush we're just disguising this blitz really well we're bringing the edge player back into a zone we're bringing this linebacker who is on the ball right here over the right guard we're bringing him all the way over to this left side of the field between the numbers and the hash to cover this man this guy's got two guys on him this guy's on him and then you have this guy on him you have deep safety there's no one open this is a five-man rush and you're bringing pressure 
It's just really, really good defense. Now we got that same five man front again, and we got this linebacker right here. We're going to bring him back in coverage. And this off ball linebacker is not blitzing. Rather, he is getting depth. Both of these guys get a lot of depth. He is going to not be responsible for this flat. Actually, he's responsible for this middle zone because this cornerback is the one who's going to come up in the flat if he if that needs to happen. But also look at the defensive front because we're going to have a stunt move that I'm going to show you. These two guys are going to crash on the inside and watch the edge player. It looks like he's going out wide to try to take on that tackle, but he's just trying to pause him right there in that stance so that Mason Graham can come back in and get on the outside there and he can just smack the guard in the face. The stunt move worked perfectly and also check out the safety right here because he's got his eyes on the quarterback. This is why I want that DB coach to come over to the charges as well. He sees that he's actually going for this man, so he goes from this stance right here, plants that foot all the way back to this side, covers all of that ground and gets the game winning interception. Now look at this stunt move so you can see it clearly. This outside linebacker is going to go inside and crash on the guard. Mason Graham is going to swing all the way to the outside. Boom. The guard gets put on his butt and both of these guys win on their pass rush. Causes an income. Well, causes the quarterback to throw it in a hurry and doesn't see that safety coming back and reading his eyes. That's just, it, it's good defense all around. Now we're moving on to Alabama. Again, we got this five-man front. The two linebackers are off the ball, and the center is going to look towards this right side because we have these three down linemen, and so that's where he looks immediately. But Mason Graham is coming from the guard to that center spot, bringing that guard along with him. We have this outside linebacker playing that tackle one-on-one. -on -one, and again, it opens up this wide open rushing lane for the off-ball linebacker. It's just, I mean, what can you do? Creating conflict again. We have this wide receiver in motion towards this side. So we bring our nickel cornerback up and we're going to blitz him. We have these three down linemen on the center guard and tackle. Look at the tackle right here. He doesn't know who to pick up out of these two guys. He picks the most outside player. Doesn't even really block anybody. And both of those guys get home. This is just scheming up beautifully a blitz against what the offense is running look he doesn't know who to pick up he can't pick up anybody and that is because you have the matchup right here of these three down linemen on these three offensive linemen and then you bring that db at the last second because that wide receiver comes in motion just screws up everything that alabama is trying to do in this game now look at this blitz this is a different look we got a four-man front here the two linebackers playing off the ball this looks like it could be something simple but now you notice this cornerback just inched towards the line and he's going to be coming off the splits. He's going to be unblocked and also look at this safety who looks like he's the deep safety. He goes and takes up that vacant spot that the cornerback is coming from. So if you're trying to throw into the blitz, this man is going to be coming downfield fast, bro. I'm just imagining Derwin James. Imagine he's not coming on the blitz and he's that man from the deep safety spot coming down the field. We got another five-man front, and this time we have Junior Colson, the linebacker, in front, or behind, rather, the other linebacker who is on the line of scrimmage. He's not going to be blitzing, though. You, you look where he's looking over to this side of the field because he's waiting on this stunt move for this defensive lineman to pull all the way and take up the guard. You can see he does. The guard looks over this way, try to pick up the stunt move, and that's when he decides, boom, now I'm going to explode downfield into this gap. It's just really great timing. And I know for a fact, Jesse Minter coached him to wait on this stunt move to develop. Check it out. He's waiting, waiting. Boom. Now I'm going to shoot the gap because it's open. This is another look that Michigan would run. Not as often as that five-man front, but they do run this look with the two linebackers showing blitz up the A gap with these one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe even seven. I think he was at the line at one point, but Mike Sanristel and these two linebackers are going to go and drop way back into coverage, looking for guys over the middle of the field. Mike Sanristel takes all the way to towards that sideline, but I want to show you Chris Jenkins, the defensive lineman, because we got that Mike Devlin defensive line coach coming back to the Chargers with Jim Harbaugh, Mike Sanristel and Chris Jenkins, both guys coming out of Michigan that you may want to look at. We're going to look at Chris Jenkins now because we already saw Mike Sanristel and look how he takes that arm. 
and just boom, spins him away, puts that guy in a blender and gets the pressure on Michael Penix Jr. And Jesse Minter is just so good at blitzing these guys out of nowhere. You can see the edge player and the nickel cornerback are coming free on this play. But look at this safety over the middle of the field. He's going to take up that space that is being vacated by the blitzers. So you would think this man is wide open in the flat, but he can't even get the ball. He gets smacked before he even gets that ball there, man. That is good defense. This is another beautiful example of Jesse Minter just outsmarting the offense. We got five men on the line again. Mikey Sandristal is coming on this blitz. Guard goes to the defensive tackle. This uh, outside linebacker goes way wide with the tackle. And that just opens up this ginormous gap for Mike Sandristal to blitz right through but also look we got everyone accounted for because even though it's a one two three four five six man rush here this six man blitz we got this guy taking up this guy he's on him he's on him he's on him and he is on him everyone is is taken into account and you get that tackle in the middle of the field man that is exactly how you want this defense to play now this is really interesting i love this one two three four five six seven guys on the line two defensive backs on the very end and then we have our edge players we're only going to bring those four guys and these three guys in the middle we're going to bring them for a second and we're going to drop them back into coverage and we have our linebacker actually swinging out wide while our two defensive linemen have the middle of the field and you can see this creates a four on two matchup only the tackles are really engaging in blocks right here and we have this pocket collapsing because of how much outside pressure is collapsing that pocket man and then he has to get rid of that ball down the field it was pass interference but it was a really good blitz. Now this play is very significant and I think it's really important that we end on this one because this is just nothing fancy here. Four man rush, no disguised look. We have our zone coverage everywhere. Michael Penix Jr. is gonna be under pressure from this edge and he's gonna throw this ball. Mikey San is gonna see this and he's gonna come up, boom, get that pick. But as soon as he gets that pick, Look at every other Michigan defender on the field. They're not celebrating because they think they won the game. They turn around and start finding guys to block. He blocks this man. He blocks that man. He's blocking this man up here. And here's our ball carrier now. This is like a punt return. We have this block, this block. We have this man and this man going out for blocks. Now this man release and he's going looking for another block. Look at all of our defenders working with our interception returner to get all the way down the field, man. This is what you want to see from a defense. Just because we got that turnover doesn't mean that the play is over. We're going to try to play from whistle to whistle as hard as we can. I love that. So that is what we're getting into with that Jesse Minter defense. A lot of guys from that defense like Chris Jenkins, Mikey Sandristal and Junior Colson might be on the Chargers next year. We may draft them, but if you want to hear more about the players that we could draft, here's Joe Hortiz talking about what he wants in a player.